Connie and Fish. My brother used to do so many weird things like that to me when I was a kid. He had a, a motorcycle uh, when we had our cabin right over there on Banks Lake in Greenville. Right. And, we, and I always wanted to ride it. And he said there was a height requirement. I believed him for years that I wasn't <laughs> tall enough to ride it. And there wasn't, obviously. Older brothers, man. Yeah. Mine did the same thing. I wasn't that short. And then I did ride it, and I crashed it, and I never got to ride it again. So, no. yeah, but still, because it because he didn't properly prepare me for it. But then once I realized that the height requirement wasn't, you know, real, <laughs> then I crashed it. And he well, got I mean, mad your me. legs had to reach the, the well, yeah. thing. I mean, I couldn't do it at three. Right. Yeah, but still. Come on, man. I was like nine years old. That leads us to our text question of the day today. It's what's the dumbest thing you believed as a kid? And that was it. Right there. That was one, mm. one of the dumbest. I mean, there were so many tricks he would play on me and weird little things he would say to me. My things that I believe were based on my brother, too, because I was adopted and my brother, Mark, used to tell me that they got me out of a bubblegum machine and or a squirrel's nest. And <laughs> did you believe both of them? I believed both of them. How would you? At different points in my little tiny Connie life. How did you <laughs> fall? How did you fall out of a bubblegum machine? Like I don't in your head? No. Like I was point. like three. Yeah, or that's four. true. That's true. Okay, so it wasn't like you were 40. And he was my older brother. I believed yeah. everything he said. Bubblegum machine and or a squirrel's nest. At two different points in my little tiny Connie life. So once you didn't believe in the bubblegum machine, he jumped right onto the squirrel's nest. Yes. That's brilliant. Mm -hmm. That's just quick work. And he wouldn't even laugh like when he told me. You just be serious? We got you out of a squirrel's nest. <laughs> Mark said you get me out of a squirrel's nest. I'm a squirrel baby. What? <laughs> There's so many he jokes. Was such a jerk growing up. So many jokes that we can't even touch on that. Okay. He wasn't really a jerk. He just loved to tease me. I was like his toy. Well, he used to give you the pecker as well, right? Like my brother gave me yes. the pecker all the time. Where they sat on you and thumped you in your chest. Yeah. Doink, 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 like, doink. I would be beat red for like two hours after he and was he would so lay hard. on his back um in the family room in his legs moving like he's an upside down turtle help me connie help me i'm tippy the turtle i'm gonna die if you can't turn me over and then he's my big brother right yeah so i'm like no <laughs> 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 I'm getting all upset, trying to flip him over. First, you're from a squirrel's <sighs> nest. Now you're killing your that older brother. <laughs> <laughs> tippy, I don't want Tippy to die. Oh, Tippy, I know. Oh my sensitive the time, pants! The first time I saw him do that with my niece, I was like, "Oh, that is really cute." It wasn't cute when I was a kid. Oh, he still does it, and he does it now. Well, not now. She's 14. Yeah, that's kind of weird. <laughs> So she, she, she's really slow at picking she, up reality. If she felt for that now, yes, no, it I would get be it. a problem, probably. Yeah, she, she just has a hard time really getting things. I get it. So what's the dumbest thing you believed as a kid? That's our text question of the day today at 770-8957. Where secrets got kind of heated yesterday. This is going to be kind of a fun one for you. Again, what's the dumbest thing that you believed as a kid? Steve? Uh, mine's my brother as well. Uh, Gosh! He was a jerk. Yeah, what and is it with brothers? <laughs> one time he convinced me that a BB gun couldn't shoot through a cardboard box. <laughs> Told me to sit in the cardboard box, then oh, I have a bunch no. of welts on my leg <laughs> from him shooting the BB gun at me. <laughs> That's awesome. I want to party with your brother. He's like, it's like cardboard armor. It's like that body armor that they wear in the army. Oh I'm my like, god, oh, you totally like believed idea. it. Oh no. Steve. <laughs> Oh god, I could but totally then, why see would that. He, why would you even get in though? You know, it's so funny because logical grown up you yeah. obviously would never do that, but little kid you mm -hmm. was like, oh, okay, then I'll climb in if you can't. Well, why would you be in there anyway? I think he kind of convinced me that it was like he's like, uh, we'll make it look like a tank, and then I'll be shooting at the tank, and the BBs just bounce <laughs> off. And I was oh, like, oh, that sounds no. awesome. Let's play war. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next thing you know, you're getting pelted with BBs. Yep. I love it. And you'd think you'd climb out after the first one hit you. Right? But nope. no. That's uh, no fun. And then luckily, it, <laughs> he had a, a fake toy like army helmet. And okay. one time uh, he went and he paper mache it to make it like sturdier. And then he actually wow. put that on my head and shot me with a BB gun, but it didn't again, go through the helmet, luckily. Again, explains a lot. <laughs> yeah. Explains a lot. Let me shoot you in the head with a BB gun. Yeah, we, we are wow. really getting a firm. Yeah. Connie and Fish.